So we got another package today from one of our good friends from that beautiful island of Puerto Rico. What is this? I don't know what fruit is this. What is this? Do you know what is this? I don't know if it's guava. But we're going to wash this and take a look. Oh, I know what is this. This is passion fruit. Yep, this is some passion fruit here. Let's take a look again. Okay, so you know, all know what is this. This is a uh, guayabana or soursop. I'm forgetting. What's wrong with me? I'm an island girl, you know. More passion fruit. These are very big, strange looking passion fruit. I know the yellow looking one and that lovely. Oh, look, another one. Oh my goodness, this one is soft. This one is ready to be eaten now. More passion fruit and more passion fruit. These are some huge passion fruit. Wow, so we got some lovely fruits here and I can't wait to make juices and to eat this lovely thing fresh. And I wanna say thank you very much to my lovely foodie over in Puerto Rico, uh, Vincent Vicente. Thank you so much. And I'm gonna indulge into this right now. This one is ripe and this one is super ripe. So I'm gonna cut into this and you could just enjoy this. You, As it is, you could make juice with it. You could make ice cream with it. I do have a video on the page where I made some ice cream with this. So foodies, I give this a good wash and I cut it. I just cut the top and I rip it open. Look at that goodness. Look how beautiful this is. And this is the gut or the meat or the pulp, whatever name you know it as. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, wow. It is so sweet. Mmm. I love this fruit just as it is. Absolutely sweet. Delicious. I can't wait to wash this one now and try it. But I'll try it another day. I don't want to ruin the taste in my mouth from the sour sap. With the passion fruit is another story. Let me just devour this. I love it. Foodies, our lovely passion fruits is uh, two days old and I like to leave them outside of the refrigerator. I cut this one open and look at that. Look at that how ripe and beautiful it's fully much mature and it's a lot of seed so i'm emptying this out just to show to you the different varieties of this fruit i know it in the island there is a lovely red skin one a yellow skin one like a burgundy i'm gonna take all this pulp out scrape everything out and just a half of this fruit i just want to show to you how much pulp and seeds and stuff you're going to get into it there you go. Look at that. Look how much. And this is so beautiful to make some lovely fresh fruit juice. You could put it in your smoothie. High in vitamin C. And it's really good, I heard, for blood pressure. So I'm going to be eating a lot of this. That is just half of it. You see that? Let's pop in the other half now. And it smells so citrusy and beautiful. I don't think you could do anything with the skin, but I heard the skin from the sour sap, you could also boil the skin and uh, make juice with it to make some juice with this. Look at that. I also like to enjoy this as a kid, put some salt on it. Some kids used to put sugar on it, but lovely fruits here. I am so very thankful and I'm so happy. I want to thank my foodies very much for always thinking about me and sending me all these lovely gifts all the time. And this is in season, so I also do enjoy it. So Jenny's Walk, always bringing great flavors to the table and bringing the flavors that is sent to me to the table. Enjoy.